Uh, Nina Jill is next. Thank you, President. When this House last adopted a resolution on Philippines in March of last year, 7,000 people had lost their lives in President Duterte's cold-blooded war on drugs. A year onwards, the number has reached 12,000. How many more? Now, those who dare to criticize the Duterte regime face harassment, torture, or arrest. This is the fate of activists, journalists, and indigenous people. Or they're simply banned from entering the country, as it happened to my colleague Giacomo Filibeck, the Deputy Secretary General of the Party of European Socialists, who was detained and expelled from the Philippines on Sunday while on his way to a political congress because he had been critical in the earlier visit. This is not just an issue for my party. It means that many of our officials can be banned at any time when it's vital to keep tabs on here, especially given President Duterte's last month to withdraw from the ICC, a point-blank confession that his war on drugs cannot withstand scrutiny. Business as usual, Commissioner, lo no longer is an option. Having championed GSP Plus for Philippines, it is now time to review it. Thank you.